Hey you guys, it's Teresa and I'm back with another mini. Um, this is a, a little mini journal for the um, swap over at junk journal junkies. Is that right? <laughs> that seem right. Okay, and so this is for a mini junk journal and this is for my partner who is Jessica Baldwin. And um, I use three different, okay, second of all, first of all, this is like the third time I've tried filming this video. I don't know what's wrong with my phone, but I'm about to get rid of it. I can't stand it. The first time, it was a 20-minute video um, on a different project, which it completely deleted. So I tried it again with this one, and of course, um, I got finished with it, getting ready to download it, and it's gone. So now I'm making a third attempt. Hopefully this one will work. Um, so, I use three different collections. This is a piece from the Bow Bunny collection. I think it's um, Siesta La Vie, I believe. And look how chunky this mini is. Um, and then I used Simple Stories Documented Line and one of the Prima collections. Um, I think it was Everyday Vintage, the Love Notes one. So, um, it's three by four, which is small, but it's to be one of a little journal that we carry in our purse so that we can, you know, jot stuff down, put pictures in there, whatever you'd like, the, something small that you can carry around with you. So I have used the pamphlet stitch there, and I have three signatures, and each one has, I don't know, maybe five pages folded in half and most of these are just different pages that I coffee and tea stained and then a few of the three different collections that I mentioned and I've used the um, a lot of the embellishments that comes with the Bow Bunny um, pack as well so this is a doily stamp that I love and I use it often on my projects I think that's really sweet Enjoy the little things. It's the title of my little mini. And on the inside, I like this sticker. It says, The secret to having it all is knowing you already do. Then on this side, it says, Learn from yesterday, live for today, and hope for tomorrow. And then I just used three different little mini file folders that I used with, um, I cut these out with a little, a Colossal template, which, you know, I've had it for ages and ages, and I thought for years that I would never use it again. I'm glad that I hung on to it, because I have several different file folder um, templates on there, and different tags, and a um, library card, you know, just different templates like that with the Colossal system. So I'm glad that I hung on to it because everything comes around again, and now I like using it for my journals. So um, I'm just going to do a quick flip through because I don't know if this, maybe it's the time limit on here, I'm not sure, but for some reason my videos keep getting deleted. So I'll just do a quick, 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 quick flip through here. I really like that. And I've used a lot of different um, stickers and stuff to make tabs. And this is a, a pack of tissue paper that I found at Walmart. Um, it was just hanging on an end cap. It was the only one. I thought it was really cool because it has all this text print on it. And um, and so I got it to the register and it was only 75 cents. So there's several sheets of it. So I'm going to cut those up to send in racks. I thought they would be really cool to use in journals and stuff and so what I did was I put them on the back of the single such sided sheets because a lot of these papers are single sided I think that um, the simple story six by six pads are so just a quick flip through here and also if you guys will document below just comment below what you use to hold your journals together um, because you can see how chunky this is and um, you know I thought about putting a button closure I've ordered some of those the rubber the band binding things from um, Tim Holtz and they haven't came yet but I'm excited to try those out I think maybe that might work these are little my mind's eye stickers that I used for tabs 
little fold out there. I've put lots of different tuck spots. It's hard to do a lot of pocket pages because this is such a tiny, tiny little little album. Three by four is really small, but I um, I did use some envelopes and use those to hold tags. And I do have a few little tuck spots in here like this to hold tags. <clears throat> That's Prima. I really like that. That's Simple Stories. Bow Bunny here. This is a Seven Gypsy little hang tag there. Okay. But at any rate, I need to come up with a better system to um, try to hold these together. I see that some people use those swivel clasps, but I thought that was a great idea. So I might try that too. I've just been putting seam binding on mine, tying it around, or um, some vintage lace, something like that. Put a little tuck spot there with a ticket that says Believe You Can and You Will. So this was a fun swap. I really like doing these little minis, but you know, you get carried away with adding all the pages, and before you know it, it's super thick. Think happy, be happy. But I love the chunky minis. I think they're so cute. And how fun to carry one of these around with you when you want to jot something down. Okay, and that's that. So, alright, that's it. Thanks guys for watching. Have a good night. I have one more album to show you and I will um, record that on a separate video.